Well, welcome to Signal Soundbites. I'm Brandon Pena, Editor-in-Chief of The Signal. And on today's special edition of the podcast, we will be talking about our experience at Comic Palooza this past weekend. And joining me today are... Alyssa Shotwell, online editor of The Signal. <clears throat> and Jessica, live reporter for The Signal. Welcome, ladies. So, first off, Comic Palooza. What were your overall thoughts about this? Is this your... This was my third time going. How about you guys? This is my first time going, so it was definitely a different experience for me, I think. This was my second, and though I did not get anything signed or photographed like with famous people, <laughs> this is my first time like even getting on that side of the room in a line. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was buying a ticket for somebody else. Yeah. She was being back. Very nice. So overall thoughts, did you guys have a good time? Was it... Eh? I was like, you got it? I was <laughs> I liked, okay, don't get me wrong. Natalie and Amelia from, or oh, sorry, Emily. Amelia. Amelia. Is that Amelia? Or yeah, Emily? it's Amelia. Amelia. Amelia Clark. Okay, Mother I know Dragons. Amelia, Amelia and I know two Emilys. So, no, I know three Emilys, so it's really confusing. Okay, Daenerys and Miss Sunday, when we all are on the same page now, we're there. And even though I loved it after that, it was just like, it was like nothing was as good. Yeah, yeah. and like, like last year when it was Tom Holland, Charlie Cox, and um, Bruce B. Carter, the costume designer for Black Panther, mm-hmm. and then they had Kirsten Ritter from Jessica Jones, I felt like it was like every, like I looked forward to two different things every day. Mm-hmm. And with this weekend, once I hit the Mother of Dragons Saturday morning, I was just kind of coasting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I felt the same way. I was... I was excited for them being there, and then after that panel, it was like, all right, what to do next? I, I guess my experience was a little different, but like, I only went on Sunday, and I only went for, I mean, not half the day, but just maybe more than half the day. And I also didn't really get to go to that much because um, I was with my friend, and he like didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Like, he was excited to be there, but I was like, oh, look, they're doing this, like, panel about this, or they're doing this, like, workshop about this, and he was like, eh, and so I was like, okay, guess we won't go, like, and I didn't want them to feel like they had to go to anything, yeah. so the only thing that I really wanted to go to was they, in the morning, on Sunday morning, they had this um, anime improv thing, where there was, like, a group of comedians okay. who were supposed to improv mm-hmm. anime, and I really wanted to go, and we literally got there, and, like, we got to the room, and the person that I was meeting up with to do the photo op with Amelia Clark like called me and was like hey let's meet up oh, so I was like oh no I, I like got to that room and then left so I like didn't get to see anything and I was really I was probably I was really disappointed about that but otherwise you know I had a really fun experience I wasn't there for very long like I definitely want to go again next year like I think this for me was like okay I would definitely be interested in coming again I will say looking at the lineup of like people who were there there wasn't really anyone I was interested in seeing other than like Amelia Clark yeah. and Natalie I think her name's last name is Emmanuel or something yeah. like that um so I I looked a lot through it too and I was like oh like because I wanted to go to other things but nothing really so spark the interest yeah I'm, but otherwise it was cool and it's huge the Georgia mm-hmm. Mountain is freaking it's huge humongous yeah and it's very easy to get turned around in there for me being this being my first time going and like having never been to George R. Brown that I can think of like I was so lost like yeah. I was really <laughs> confused like navigating the event was probably the most frustrating thing to me mm-hmm. like because when we got there um I well so I've never been so I didn't I didn't even realize that like the exhibit hall and then like or all the like autographs and photo ops are like in the same giant open room yeah. but like in sections and so when I got there the first thing I wanted to do was go to that um anime improv thing which was on the third floor and so we went up to the third floor which like it was still a little weird navigating where it was like I was kind of looking at the signs and I was like I think this is where we're going but like also the way it was set up kind of made me feel like I wasn't supposed to go in the room so I was like I'm not sure what's going on but when I got back downstairs and we were trying to meet up with the person they were like yeah we're just by where all the stuff is and I was like where the stuff is I don't know where (laughs) Where anything is is." like I think it takes going once to understand how it yeah. works, which is why I really wanted to go with someone who'd been before, but I was like, well, this is what we're doing, so. <laughs> yeah, I think last year was my first year, 
and it took the end of Friday and the beginning of Saturday where I was like, I at least know this part of the floor. Yeah. If not the room, I can narrow down to like a 20th of the location. Yeah. So, of course, when it comes to Comicpalooza, there's a ton of cosplayers. Did you guys see any that just like, man, they're really cool, or man, I wish I could do that, or... I stopped in my tracks a lot like I did last year. Like, it is so... Even people that all they did was buy it, and it's like a one piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, just to like... Like, I don't have that confidence to go walk around like that. There were a they billion spider man There were like, so many. There were so less than many. last year, though. Because since Tom Holland came yeah. last year, I swear to God, there was like 400 there across was the weekend. like 15,000 spider man I Every time he turned a corner, he was there. It was... Um, nuts. I like the, the cosplay like groups where people like anytime they're moving through the exhibit hall they're like in like oh, characters yeah. and like yeah. in a group too. Like we saw one, I don't even know what it was from, like but it was just like a group and they were dressed up and they kind of like no, I'm not even gonna try to describe because I have no idea. But they were like <laughs> saying stuff as they walked by, they're like 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 come on, hurry up, hurry up and I was just like, I love this. Like let's yeah. <laughs> like it got me really excited. The Star Wars stuff's always really cool too, because like the stormtrooper yeah. uniforms like always look so good. Like I've seen them in other like places where people cosplay like stormtroopers, yeah. but I thought that was neat. The the fifty something Legion. Mm-hmm. It's a group. They they go to like specific events. Like it's a yeah. Houston or Texas thing. Yeah. I've seen them somewhere else. There was one. They have handlers. That's how many. They have, they have a group of handlers to, to help them. Dang. There was one cosplay. I think it was from Doctor Who. Like I'm not really like, f- super familiar with Doctor Who. Oh, I know like, around. Yes, that one was wild. I was like, it's, so. What were some of your best and or worst experiences? My best experience was meeting Amelia Clark. <laughs> I was gonna say like, that has me well, kind of kind of out there. Her, so that's not I mean, it was literally a full five seconds, if that. Like it was so fast. Like I yeah. felt like I felt like I was going through some kind of military procedure. Like <laughs> that's how serious it was. They had like security. Yeah. Like you had to drop off all your stuff. You couldn't take anything in there. Like the only thing that went with you was your phone and your keys. Like or you. Could you got to key. take your phone. I didn't get to take my it, phone. I mean, it had to be in my pocket, but oh. like I was able to take my phone into like the area with me yeah. but they were like we went they had us take out our phone and our keys and put them in our hands and then walk through like the detector thing and then they were like all right put your phone and your keys in your pocket and i was like <laughs> and like one of the girls in our group was wearing like a dress so she didn't have pocket she was like i don't know what like to do with this yeah. and they're like put it in here put it somewhere i was like what is she gonna do she has a dress on I'm like fortunately my friend had like he pockets in his yeah. jeans so he put stuff in his jeans but it was it was That's very nice. like it was yeah. Scary. It was very intense. My she five seconds so with cute. her. Yeah, she was super nice. Yeah. I want to. I want to give a plus to something that was changed this year that helped a lot more. They had twenty minute intervals between events. Yeah. Last year they did not. So like, if you wanted to go to two things that were back to back, it wasn't back to back like five minutes. It was like they were like good luck. A minute, <laughs> and it's on another floor on the opposite side. Ugh. They put these twenty minute intervals so that gave people a time to actually walk there. Yeah. It might be coming in when it starts, but it won't be halfway over. So I'm going to give them a shout out. Scheduler, you're the MVP of Comic <laughs> Coolism, other than Amelia Clark. Um, my, my favorite thing was probably that first panel, Saturday morning. So Game I didn't get to meet her, but I got to see her, so yeah. that was mine too. And that's why... I mean, I basically just got to see her too, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made eye contact with her. She smiled at me. That's what I get. There you go. Yeah. That was awesome. Um, My best experience was, of course, like, meeting her and taking the photo, of course. But I also liked the panel because they asked my question, which was... Oh, yeah. Interesting. I did not what expect was your that. Question? It was like, what, uh, what were their thoughts on the evolution of female roles on Game of Thrones? Mm-hmm. And I had submitted that uh, oh, through the Houston good. Life uh, Facebook page. I didn't get any attention on it, so I was like, okay, well, they're not going to do anything with it. And then, lo and behold, they say my name on stage. I'm like, oh, shit. (laughs) When they started it, before they said his name, he freaking elbowed me. Because I knew it was coming. And it was like, before I could say WTF, I turned and was giving him a crazy look. And then I hear his name, my whole head turned like, what? (laughs) Like, okay, I really wanted to go to that panel, but I I worked all day on Saturday, which sucked, because it was like, the day after, like, monsoon. Yeah. But I 
want it to go so bad. But there really wasn't, like, I looked at the schedule for Sunday, like, multiple times, and there really wasn't anything that I was super I interested in. I wanted to go to the Beyond Hogwarts thing, but I think I left, like, right when that was starting. If it makes you feel any better, they did it last year. It seems like it's probably an annual thing. Okay. People having a conversation, like, what next? Okay. Um, I have a lot of opinions about about what next for yeah. the Wizarding World. They had a lot more Harry Potter panels this year, or events, but I didn't go to any of them, unfortunately. Yeah. If you if you get a chance, I do Quidditch every year. Quidditch is wild. I'd probably try not to play and stay back. If somebody got hurt last year, so I was like, oh, they're never they're doing fierce. this again. Hey, no, I would love to watch that though. It's fun to watch, yeah. I really, I definitely plan on going again next year. Well, nice. So, speaking of next year, what are some suggestions you guys have for them? Anything they can improve on? Anything that you, any celebrity guest options? Okay, I'm saying this as a caveat. I didn't meet anybody famous, okay? But I got a ticket for somebody. And then I've heard stories from you and other people about the hell that was Lion Organization. And I talked to people who had been for, like, years and years, and they're like, yeah, nothing changes. Like, so, even though I don't know if I would spend that kind of money, I feel like if people spend $300 to have five seconds in somebody, maybe not make them, not just wait an hour, but have it where you're changing the rules. Like, there's inconsistencies. Everybody needs to be on the same page on that side of the hall especially. So I will say, uh, this was my only experience yeah. at Comic Palooza, like meeting a famous person, but yeah. our our like experience was super efficient. Like we, so originally we were gonna, okay, I think our time was 12.50 was what was on our ticket or whatever. And we were gonna line up like super early, like, cause we were like, oh, we wanna make sure like we don't have any issues. But whenever the person who like was holding the ticket got there, I guess she spoke to someone and they were like, oh no, just be here at your scheduled time. And we were like, um, that's like not what any other person in existence has told us. So I was like really nervous about that. Mm -hmm. But we literally showed up at like 1240 or something like that. And we got in line by like 1245 and we were done with our whole experience by like one. 15 Dang. if that like it was literally right here. yeah like we didn't That's, we didn't we didn't, went Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we didn't wait in line at all like we literally we walked up and they were like okay groups one through four can get in line now and so they were, they asked us what group we were in we were like oh we're group four and they're like okay get in row 17 and they were like the taped off lines yeah. on the ground and we were like okay so we got into 17 and then we were in line in this row and then like they accepted them one at a time. Like one at a time, people were going through, and we went through like within. With we only stood in that line for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Like, and then we went through the process to meet her. My only suggestion is is because this is this my third time I've had experiences with like having to go through security and check your bags, and there's so many checkpoints. It gets so annoying when they keep asking you to check your bag after you've already had it mm-hmm. checked. I think they need to come up with some kind of system. I think NRG actually does this, where after they check your bag, they put like a little tag on it, and like just have like different colored tags for each day, and then tag your bag. So like Friday yeah. you get a blue tag, Saturday you get a red tag, and then once you've already had your bag checked, you shouldn't have to have it checked repeatedly, yeah. just because if you're staying in the facility there's no point yeah. of you having to have your bag constantly checked yeah. if you're exiting the building then that's different but if you're going from you know one side of the building to another that doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense yeah. to have it checked like if i'm going on the first floor I have it checked but then i'm using the elevator to go to the second floor and there's a checkpoint there i have to recheck my bag after i've already had it checked yeah i feel like it's their like their lack of ability to cover the exits like mm-hmm. because i noticed there was a bag check uh on the second floor where the, like the starbucks was and it was kind of randomly in the middle of the hall like it was like you walk down from the starbucks and it was yeah. like placed just like in the middle of that like long stretch of like hall and i was this is a really weird place for a bag check especially when you know people are going to go over there to where that starbucks is so like yeah. why are you gonna like because from where we were we went upstairs and we walked to that starbucks and then we had to do the bag check on the way back over and we literally had, I had like a fanny pack. It was an actual fanny pack. It was like, I had this little like fanny pack bag. Like, and so I had to get my bag checked a few times and I was like, I just want coffee. Mm-hmm. 
Well, guys, I hope you, all of you attended, had a great time. And if you didn't attend, always attend next year. It's fun. And uh, if you have any comments, concerns, questions for us, send it to SignalSoundBites at UACLSignal.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. If you want to check any of our live coverage, go to at the Signal Cast either on Twitter and Instagram. And Alyssa, you had a comment? Oh, there's more content coming from it. I'm yeah. The gallery there's stuff. more stuff coming this way. Unlike winter is coming, uh, lots of Comic Palooza stuff is coming. So be on the lookout for that on our website. All right. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> we love you.